I'm going to do a review of my 1999 Procraft 17 bass boat. Thought I would just tell you a little bit about the boat just as if you came to look at it. Uh, this boat, I am the second owner. Uh, it was bought uh, new in 1999 in Tennessee. It's a single console, uh, two seats for uh, driving, two seats for fishing. Uh, there's two raised decks on it, front and back. It has the original Procraft matching trailer. Just recently upgraded, uh, or put a new winch on it, brand new spare tire. The uh, seats are all the original Procraft seats. Two-tone, gray, red, tuft. Absolutely no rips, no tears. They've all been well taken care of. The garage has been kept in the boat, or excuse me, the boat has been kept in the garage the whole time I've owned it. You can tell this isn't gonna be a professional video. It has a Motor Glide 743, which is 43 pounds of thrust, foot controlled. Have a Garmin fish finder up front and a Eagle, I really call it a depth finder. It's called a fish finder, but we use it really just for seeing the depth on it. We've got some great storage. There's a uh, rod storage right here. Also uh, stow some of the other things, the seat posts, things like that. There's an additional storage under here and uh, it does come with a boat cover. The uh, boat has a marine grade uh, stereo that we've just upgraded and installed a new one. It is an AM FM CD and it does work with a uh, MP3s and a USB. It, the boat has a really nice ice chest in between the seats that drains out. It'll uh, keep you uh, drinking fine all through your fishing experience. Two strategically located cups right by the driver and passenger side. The boat has two live wells, one on each side. It has the Atwood rod holders if you want to put uh, two here. There's two here and, and uh, two in the front if you're going to do some crappie fishing. And then I've added the rod savers, both front and back for those fishing. I had a friend of mine that worked in the aircraft industry and he uh, got me some wing walk, which is what they use in the airline industries. And that's what you see here. And it's on both wheel wells and also on the, uh, also on the front. So when you're, uh, Loading your boat up, you can uh, easily step onto that and you're not going to slide around. On the inside, we've got a setup for three batteries, one cranking battery and two uh, trolling batteries. And just put a brand new Minn Kota onboard digital charger, which will charge all three batteries at the same time. We also just recently upgraded and put brand new sump pumps in it. A lot of storage down there for you. When the boat was purchased, uh, the gentleman that purchased it upgraded it. It originally had a 90 horsepower and he upgraded it to a 120 Mercury or force by a Mercury Marine. It was the largest motor that you can put on this boat. As a matter of fact, on these 17 foot hulls nowadays, they generally won't go past a 90 horse. And this one has the uh, Mercury Marine Laser 2 performance prop on it and we're going to go ahead and crank this thing up and let you see it run we've got the water ears on it and so we're going to crank and let you hear it cranks real easy you can see the uh, Water pump is pumping out the side, all down at the bottom, everything's flowing well. We'll go ahead and spin it a little bit for you. There we go. There's reverse. We'll uh, kill it and let you see it crank one more time. Cranks like that every time.
we uh, just recently put uh, new tie downs on it. Uh, like I said, everything is, uh, is fully functional. You've got some uh, nice cleats on the back and side. On the console, you've got miles per hour RPM fuel and then uh, trim as well. And uh, it, the boat has a power trim on it. Uh, it will easily do, according to the speedometer, 60 miles an hour. And probably a little more if you, uh, if you actually uh, like doing that. We've got uh, very good tires on it, buddy bearings on the trailer. And as I said, a brand new, uh, brand new spare tire. All of the wiring is hooked up and functional. This is the uh, wing walk on the front wing as well. And this came with the, uh, what they call the, uh, the power light uh, trailer lighting kit. And it is uh, registered in Arkansas and registered through the end of this year. So this again is my 1999, just like a brand new Procraft garage kept 17 bass fishing boat.